Hello, nerds. This is the Post Credit Show. I'm your host, Lucian. I got my boy Lockie over here. We are live and in a living color on YouTube. Don't forget to like. Follow, subscribe, Ooh. and if you are listening in podcast land, please know that we love you and we can't wait for you to see our beautiful faces on YouTube. Watch out for that pothole. Mwah. Blah. How are we? Mate, I'm actually pretty pissed off at you. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Loose loses it? No, 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 no. What have I done now? Bro, okay. Jeez. Now, we've been talking. I've been talking. I've been talking about the boys. Oh. This TV series. Uh, this is, Amazon. This is on me. I get, this oh, is on you. Yeah, yeah, Now, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, we're trying to, we're trying to, like, <sighs> I need to understand what the freaking hell I need to do to get you to watch this show. Pay for my prime, baby. <laughs> Bro, you, no. you get paid more than me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's... I went, okay, I went to watch it the other week, right? About two weeks ago. And it's on my list. Next to went four. Went to watch it and then no, Pornhub no, opened, and then right? Pornhub came up. Yeah, there you go. But I had, I had um, the boys, I had uh, Fallout, and then I had Reacher. And, of course, you rewatched Reacher. Oh, I didn't. I hadn't seen Reacher, but I just got off the phone to mum. Mum goes, Locke, you need to watch this. It's incredible. My stepfather agreed. Okay, so okay. I watched ten episodes straight. Mama of- Jukes. <laughs> Mama Jukes, this one's Ma- for you. Mama Barrow. Mama Barrow. Yeah, she changed her Okay, name. all right, Mama Barrow. This one's for you, babe. <laughs> I'm the co-host. Back off, lady. <laughs> oh, Mama Bear. She knows I love her. She'll but yeah. kickbox you to the jaw, mate. I'm sure she will. I love but you. seriously. Love you, mum. My man, like two of the hottest shows online right now. Yeah, yeah. Being Fallout and, and the boys. Yeah, And, and you go watch and Jack and went, f***ing Reacher. Hey, it was good. It but was it's not, really good. Like, seriously, pull your head in, mate. So okay. what's going so they've got four seasons, I believe. Yeah, I think like a that. fifth is in the works or it's been just it's been No, I think approved. they were about to, I think they were about to see season four. Yes. Uh sorry, season three. <clears throat> yep. Season four is about to drop, but season five has already been green- greenlit. Gotcha. Okay, yep. so that's where it's at. Yeah. And Carl Urban's in it. Yeah, I believe. He's yep. a, probably the well, currently probably the biggest Kiwi actor, I reckon, besides maybe Rusty at okay, this stage. So here's the thing, right? And, yeah. and, and this is what I want to say about this is what I want to say about Carl Urban. Mm. You know that that moment in um uh, X Men where Charles and um where in the bar. They go in the bar. And Wolverine's there. F off. F off. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Charles Xavier. Go f yourself. Yeah. Yep. That's the kind of character that Carl Urban is in this show. Ooh. Like he has some really iconic moments where yep. where it's like, I, it's hard to describe because he really does just give you that I don't give a f- and I know I'm going to have to edit the absolute dog's bollocks out of this freaking episode, <laughs> but like it's just so good. Okay, I'll give you. I'll say this. I will watch how many seventy episodes per season, roughly. Oh, like ten episodes. All right. By the end of May, I'll watch the. I'll have watched the whole first season. So you got um, Anthony Starr. Yep. Anthony Starr plays Homelander. See the gold dude that's in a lot of the. Um, there's a lot of like TikTok videos around this character. No, nah. no. So he 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 kind of plays this universe's Superman. Is he gold? No. Oh, no. okay. He plays this universe's Superman, and the thing about him is he's compromised. How so? He's not the kind of Superman that fights for truth, justice, and the American way. He just wants to beat the shit out of people? He wants to <laughs> rule. <laughs> That's sick. And to rule, he makes sacrifices. And not of himself, yep. but of the people, the other superheroes, the citizenry wow. around him. Was this a comic book? Is that a stupid question? It is a comic book. Okay, so that's where it was developed from. It's a comic book that is side by side with the TV series. Yep. Um, The comic book is so much more graphic than anything the TV series could ever do. Wow. It's so much more graphic. And there are things that we haven't seen in the TV series, thank God. Oh, that bad. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, who, um, There was, okay. No, Joe, you go. You go. There was an episode called Herogasm. Oh, Yep. And it is exactly what it sounds like. Okay. What, this now, big, big, big hero gangbang kind of thing? Yes. Jesus. Now, <laughs> the, the comic book and the TV series takes the absolute mickey out of the superhero franchise in every possible way. So it's like, oh, here's this superhero. He could probably do this thing, but he yep. shouldn't. Yeah. But we will in the boys. 
Uh, you've got me. So here's okay. here's an example, right? And this is this is like as as graphic as they get. And I'm probably going to have to edit most of this out. But if you've watched the Hero Gasm episode, ladies and gentlemen, you know exactly what I'm about to say. <laughs> In the Marvel universe, there was a joke that was made about Ant Man's ability to shrink to be so small that he could get up Thanos and explode him from the inside. That's a fair share. It was a joke that was made. Oh, did they do it? I didn't go up the bum. There were two gay heroes yeah. who were having a little orgasm moment. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. And you see it very graphically. Oh, wow. It is, in no uncertain mm. terms, completely and totally f- up in every single way and i cannot believe that you have not seen a single second of this yet i haven't seen a single because i kind of feel like if you had it's up my alley you it? would love it all right so it's not a horror no no so there's three seasons available to watch all right i'll get the um <clears throat> i'll get the amazon account fired up again um it's yeah, I I can't even begin to describe. So so cast list: you've got Anthony Starr playing Homelander, you've got uh, Carl Urban playing Billy Butcher. So Carl Urban playing mm. a bloke named Billy Butcher sounds yeah. I, I, Checks I, out. I kind right? of get I kind of get where where that's going. Yep. Um, Jack Quaid, who the second you see him, you're so like, Randy, oh, Randy, him. Randy's son. I, I don't know. That's a good. Well, question. no, Dennis was it Dennis Quaid or Randy Quaid? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, move on. Aaron Moriarty, Jensen Ackles is in it. Yep. Uh, you got a whole bunch. Chance Crawford. He plays the deep. The, the deep. deep is this universe's piss take on Aquaman. Oh, oh that's brilliant. And the deep <laughs> has a very sexual affair with his pet octopus. Oh, you're joking. It's so messed up. That is twisted, man. <laughs> I'm not joking when I tell you, brother, you are going to oh, love this so much. Shit. Please. Folks, if he doesn't come back to us in the next four weeks and say that he's finally watched season one, you have my permission to cancel this mother. Yeah, that's a fair shout. I'll accept it. Um, so the reason why we're talking about this is because, like, here's the thing, guys. We're we're both not feeling very well. We were sitting here talking about, um, you know, that's it. We've recorded enough for today. Um, and then I started talking to him about the boys because we've got the next season about to drop in a couple yeah, of weeks' yeah. time. And then he mentioned, oh, you know, Carl Urban. I'm like, oh, bro, this guy's. Uh, and then I said, man, we should be recording this. I was like, you know what? Let's just record it. Bugger it. Um, General chit chat. I'm so keen for this series. Like, I can't wait. <clears throat> I yeah. actually can't wait. Is there. Um, I just got a question. So, is there a is there a massive fan base for this? Huge. Like, is it is it huge? Because I've never heard of it. Um, but I'm not a comic book reader, as you know. So, which is strange not- to me because you feel I, I feel like you're the kind of person who books with pictures make the most sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't have like a little maze halfway through reading or a little pop up, I kind of get lost in it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's not owned. So who owns this property? It's not Marvel. It's not DC. No. So it's like, if anything, the fact that it's not Marvel and DC is what makes that's it make, so Well, good. that's why they're allowed to do what they do. It actually, it kind of reminds. It's kind of like a parody, really. It kind of reminds me of another show that I used to watch. What's that called? Drawn Together. Oh, absolutely. That was f- gold, man. Like you'd have. Um, now I'm not being. I'm not being a rude or anything, but you had a gay Zelda link, a gay link. Man, you had I, a, like okay, so you had Pikachu that was. F- I grew up on this show, I'm, and I actually yeah. had a bit of a boy crush on Link. <laughs> I'm like, that is my type, Zaddy. Like, hey, I had a crush on Kim Possible, so the, really each to their own. And Android 18, I, I'm ashamed to say what I've done to myself watching her. Can I get a? <laughs> He got it. But drawn together, it sounded like that for me was that was the first kind of parody that I come across as a, as a kid. And this is solidly bro, in that line, but it takes it so much further. But that show was twist. Do you remember? Remember they used to have Happy Tree Friends. Yep. And then uh, it was on SBS or ABC. It was on one. It was SBS. They had Happy sa- Tree Friends was, was <laughs> broken. That was broken. Bro, that was almost as bad as Ren and Stimpy. Oh, f- no, draw um, Happy Tree Friends was way more graphic than that. But yeah, drawn together, man. That was some fun. <laughs> So if it's um, – I do like parodies. So, I'll, I'll you know, as I said – Give it a crack. I will watch the first season, all of it, by the end of May. So I think we're, what, mid-May now. Um, 
Yeah, we got actually <laughs> – this is off top. We got a fine drawn together. If anyone out there knows how to get it, send it in because I would love to rewatch that. <laughs> they made a movie about it as well. You know what's so funny about it is like – I just donkey kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there <laughs> on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. My ADHD just kicked in. I'm sitting there tapping my foot. I was like, oh, whoops. There we, there we go. Hey, before we go, yeah, um, yeah. we got a birthday shout out. Yes, we do. Our One of our first fans, F.A. Moriatis. I didn't say F-star. that right. I can't pronounce this. There's so many great ways to pronounce a word. Mm. No, our dear friend, Effie, huge, huge fan of the show. Uh, we love your F. It's her birthday. I know today. you think that Lockie is the right, the main. Like I know you only watch for Lockie, but I love you more. No, you don't. I, you, Effie knows she, she's got a very, uh, very. <laughs> she's got a. Very <laughs> she's got a very. <laughs> Effie has a very dear place in my heart. We love. We love Effie. Is it the part where you have a coronary? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few holes in there, mate. So it just fills the gap. No, but happy birthday, happy Esther. birthday, darling. Thank you for your support. And uh, also, and also, while we're here, um, to uh, Marianne Tan Room, uh, her two kids have had a birthday this week. Yes. So Nicholas and Amelia, so happy not, birthday, not, your little loin squirts. Not this week, this month. So. Amelia turned 11. Uh, she's now tu- she's she was so she just turned 11. Uh, now she's turning 18 in a week. Oh my god! And Nicholas that, that checks out. Nicholas is 14, and he is a maverick, uh, absolute maverick. He is the cologne specialist. Anyone out there that uh, wants any information on some new fragrance? <laughs> it's gonna he's be, your man. It's going to be Marianne's tan room and Nicholas's cologne emporium. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> now Maya or David Jones, if you are interested in hiring a junior for your fragrance <laughs> department, reach out because boy, have I got the guy for you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, happy birthday, Amelia, Nicholas, and Effie. We love you guys. Thank you for supporting the show. Uh, yeah, I think that's us. All right, I need to go have a ciggy. I'm going to have a cold and flu tablet. Bye bye, bye, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Lucia. It's been Lockie. Don't forget to say hi to your mum for me. Bye bye.